In this video, I will be sharing the top reviews of the book called, Billy Summers, authored by Stephen King who made his first professional short story sale, The Glass Floor, to startling mystery stories in 1967. Throughout the early years of his marriage, he continued to sell stories to men's magazines. Many were gathered into the Night Shift collection or appeared in other anthologies. In the fall of 1971, Stephen began teaching English at Hampton Academy, the public high school in Hampton, Maine. Writing in the evenings and on the weekends, he continued to produce short stories and to work on novels. But before I get to the review part let's see a little bit of what this book is about. Billy Summers is a man in a room with a gun. He's a killer for hire and the best in the business. But he'll do the job only if the target is a truly bad guy. And now Billy wants out. But first, there is one last hit. Billy is among the best snipers in the world, a decorated Iraq war vet, a Houdini when it comes to vanishing after the job is done. So what could possibly go wrong? Now let's get to the reviews. Beata from Poland says some may say that Mr. King chose a theme that has been covered in several books earlier, and they are right, however, I just enjoyed meeting Billy and that is what matters to me. Billy's background is what shaped him and yet despite calling himself a bad man, he recognizes evil when he sees it, which means that he is not totally lost in my eyes. Moreover, what he does for Alice, a young woman mistreated brutally while thinking about the little sister he lost tragically in childhood, shows that empathy is still in him. Billy's story gripped me, yes, and my stars are for the reading pleasure I was offered by Mr. King. The book is not poetic or intellectually challenging but it ticked several boxes, which was grand. Ginger from States says I was not expecting to enjoy this new book by Stephen King as much as I did. I've unfortunately become more critical as I get older of my favorite authors. I know they have put out great books in the past and I try to keep my fangirl in check. It's almost more pressure on them because of this mindset. But with Billy Summers, I can say that this book is well done. If you are looking for horror, you'll not find it here. The only horror you will find in the book is bad men and the actions they take. The fact that this is not horror might sway some Stephen King fans away, but I'm happy with him putting out books for different genres. Billy Summers is about a hired killer. He has decided to do one last job, but he doesn't realize how complicated the hit is going to get. One of the great things in the book is Billy's disguise while waiting to do the hit. He's disguised as a writer and living in the suburbs. He comes to live in Red Bluff and decides to write a book while he waits. Bradley from the United States says frankly, I'm always happy to read a Stephen King. It's as easy as that. He never disappoints. Case in point. Billy Summers could easily have turned out to be a Dexter-like romp or a thriller in the vein of all hitmen. It could have turned out a Stockholm-type romance spiced up with a little revenge and moral outrage to get all those types of juices flowing, too. And make no mistake, Billy Summers does have those elements. But King is a king of subversion when it comes to plots. He welcomes us down those long dark paths, leading us to believe that that monster will be down one, but the real monster isn't there. It's actually in your back pocket all along. And I loved it from start to finish. Intelligence, the burden and release of art in a most unexpectedly delightful way, and real connection. I was invested from start to finish not only for the initial hook but more for all the wonderful extras. Tanya from Austria says Billy Summers is more of a thriller than a crime novel, and it works much better than his previous forays into the genre, which have been more of a miss than a hit, as far as I'm concerned, looking at you, Bill Hodges, because it's told from the perspective of the criminal. Billy is a former Iraq war sniper turned hitman, doing one final job before retirement. He's justified his choice of freelance employment to himself by only accepting jobs that will have him target what he considers to be bad guys. But once he's too far in to back out, it becomes clear that something about this particular hit is hinky. I'm not going to lie, this novel was incredibly inconsistent. The beginning, as Billy settles down in a small town for many months, ingratiating himself with the locals while he waits for his opportunity, moves at a pretty glacial pace. His cover story is that he's a novelist with a deadline who needs to hunker down and get to writing, and for lack of a better thing to do to kill time, he decides that he might as well, so he begins writing his memoirs, from childhood through his time as a soldier in Iraq, 
for himself, to prove that he could, because he doesn't think that anyone would ever read it. I'm not into war stories, fictional or otherwise, so I wasn't truly engaged in this novel until he was on the run after doing the deed. And then King brings in a new character by a ludicrous coincidence, and this is where it gets tricky. Ashley from Canada says while King's newest doesn't land amongst my favorites by him, it is still an excellent read. It took me a while to really, truly get into it, I'd say until Alice came into the picture actually. Not that I was hating it before her appearance, she just brought that extra spark that really caught my attention and my heart. The story was still good before her just not great. Alice was just the catalyst that made me go from kind of liking Billy to falling in love with him. She brought out the best in him, well the best that can be brought out in an assassin for hire. Because no matter how nicely you try to paint it, he's still a killer and even knowing his background and his story I still don't understand what brought him to do what he does. I think that's why I was struggling until Alice came into the picture, she let me see the human side of Billy and redeemed him in my eyes in the end. I thought the ending was quite perfect, not what I had envisioned for the story but it just fit. Everyone got what they deserved in the end, poetic justice if you will. I have provided the sources of this video in the description, please feel free to check them out. Thank you for watching this video, if you like this video then please subscribe to the channel and share this video.